Hello dear creative friends, long time no see. Thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome back to my channel. Some of you have requested the video on how I print on the envelopes, so this is exactly what we're going to be doing today. This is a cute envelope I'm going to show you how to print on. Uh, I know this is quite big, but this is the only format I currently have at home. So this can be used uh, in order to store the invoice from your uh, store, for example, or thank you note, or maybe uh, give your customers some freebies. Uh, but generally this knowledge can be applied to the envelope of any format. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So let's start by gathering the supplies necessary for this video. So obviously we need the envelopes we're going to be printing on. In my case I'm using the 229 by 162 millimeter envelope or otherwise known as C5 envelope. We are also going to be needing the tape and the scissors in order to tape our envelopes shut. I'm using this matte tape which does not stick to the paper that much, which means that I can easily take it off once the printing is done. A bit more about the envelopes. As you can see, they're not very uh, stable as compared, for example, to these envelopes I have used for my wedding invitations. They were much thicker and the structure was much better, so printing on them was much, much easier. The issue which you might face with those wiggly and not stable envelopes is that the edges of the envelope might, be, um, might end up having some ink smudges on them. So I would say choosing the right envelope with the right thickness is almost 80% of the success. For the purpose of creating the envelope design or the pattern, I'm using the free web-based application called Figma. I have created the frame, which is essentially the canvas where I'm going to be working on. This is the A4 format. And I will start creating the pattern itself. I will start by drawing the line, changing the line uh, thickness to around 50 and then changing the ends of the line to round ones. By selecting my line and choosing the bench tool, I can now create uh, some type of a curve. You can drag the points of the line until you achieve the result you want. And then I'm just going to duplicate some of the shapes, change their uh, outlook so that I don't have to create them from the scratch. As you can see, I don't have any plan. I'm just creating a couple of these um, some simple, cute shapes. So some of these S-shaped uh, curly thingies, uh, then some curves and some circles as well. I'm duplicating the shapes and positioning them around the canvas in order to create the pattern. Alrighty, let's give our shapes some color. So I'm selecting them one by one and changing their color. I already have the color palette pre-selected, but you can choose whatever the colors you want. So I am just changing the colors of the shapes according to my liking. As you will see later on in this video, I will have to adjust it a little bit so that my writing is visible on the envelope. Okay, so once we're happy with the result, we can select our canvas and then group all the shapes together so that they're on the same layer, so to say, and then I'm exporting them as the SVG format. Okay, so I'll now move to Photoshop and I will create the custom canvas. This canvas is the exact size of the envelope you're planning to print on. This is very important. In my case, it's 229 by 162 millimeters and the orientation of the canvas is landscape. So let's go ahead and create that. I will then simply drag and drop the pattern which we have created in Figma into Photoshop and then reposition it to how I want it to be. Since I don't want my shapes to be cut off and I want them to uh, kind of appear in full on the envelope, I'm going to resize it and make my pattern a little bit smaller. I will kind of leave a couple of millimeters off the edges so that everything fits on my envelope once it's printed out. 
do keep in mind that in this video i do not uh, care about margins so if you need to be more specific on that uh, think about how much your render will actually crop your image okay so once i move my shapes off the edges i'm going to select the text tool and write thank you roughly in the middle I will increase the size of the text and also change the blend mode of the whole text layer to multiply. At this point I have realized that the text color and the orange color of the shape in the background is interfering a little bit and is not contrasting at all so the text is therefore not visible. So I went back to Figma and changed the colors uh, a little bit making sure that I don't have any orange in the middle where the text is going to go. So obviously we have to save the pattern once again and re-export it to Photoshop and then we're ready to go. Cool, so once everything's ready, we can export this file as PNG and prepare it for printing. I will open up the saved file on my computer and proceed to print menu. The most important thing you will have to change is the paper size. This has to really correspond to the size of the actual envelope you're printing on, so just like the file. There are a couple of default uh, envelope sizes, I don't know how it looks like on your printer, but in my case I had to create the custom size, so I will go into manage custom size menu. By tapping the plus sign I'm going to add another custom size and I will adjust the width and the height to the exact parameters of my envelope. Since I'm printing in portrait mode, the width is going to be 162 and the height 229 mm. I've realized if I input 0 mm uh, in the margins everywhere, uh, the printer is going to apply the default margins anyway. This is not going to be kind of borderless printing because it's not available for custom sizes on my printer. So I'm going to choose the newly created envelope as the paper size, then I'll go to media and quality and choose envelope as the media type. I don't usually choose it, but this time my envelopes are a bit curved, so I was hoping this is going to help a bit. If you don't have that in your printer settings, I would just choose the plain paper and wouldn't worry that much. So I tried to straighten my envelopes a bit, but it didn't work that much, they still didn't have the best design, so I proceeded to taping the envelope shut. For that purpose I will take just a bit of the matte tape and I will uh, curl it into this kind of uh, circle so that the envelope is taped from the inside and I don't have to print over the tape or whatever. So I'll put a bit of tape on the right, left and middle of my envelope just to make sure that it goes through the printer without any issues. For this tutorial I'm using the Canon Figma IP8750 printer. Pay attention to the way I'm putting my envelope into the printer, so pay attention to this flap and its direction. After that, I'll make sure that my envelope sits uh, in the printer correctly, it is not obstructed by anything, and then once I start the print job on the computer, I'll just hold it down in order to make sure it goes down the printer correctly. Since we're not printing on the regular paper, it might get jammed, so I find that helping it out a little bit uh, works well. Now we can sit back, relax and enjoy the printing process. So our envelope is done. As you can see, the thank you is facing the exact direction we want it to be and the quality looks good. I have also tried to print on the back of the envelope, so I just saved the pattern without the thank you on it and uh, it doesn't matter which direction I put it into the printer. As previously, I'm holding it down a bit to make sure it goes into the printer well. So as you can see, the printer does a good job printing on the envelope in general, however, I was not happy with uh, the result because the edges were smudged with ink. 
As previously mentioned, this is due to the fact that the envelope is not perfectly straight and its edges are curled inwards a bit. So at the end of the day, I just used the envelope without the pattern on the back. So once we're done with printing, we're going to take off our tape. Since we have tested before, this um, tape is uh, paper friendly, let's say, and we can take it off without any issues. So I'm just going to open the envelope and take it off. Great, so this is our final result. If you liked it, please leave a comment below and if you have any questions, reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching once again and see you next time.